so Adam, you know, last week was a really busy week for you in court and you were there first and to see it all. Now, there is a lot to unpack, but first we shall start with Najib's ex-special officer, Dr. Amhari. You know, he gave some really explosive statements, but first of all, who is Dr. Amhari? He said he he's supposed to be a very bright student, okay. uh, a BNM scholar, mm. uh, studied in Malay College. Yeah. Um, then he went on to become one of, he was seconded to the PMO and from there he just climbed the stairs lah, and become one of the closest person to Najib and one of the youngest as well. Alright, yeah. so this is a man, you know, by his own words was given more power than he should have. How did this, you know, how did this happen? First of all, we understand that um, from from the testimony and all, we know that uh, Joe Lo, the, we he was supposed to be there because there was someone else pulling the strings, i.e. Joe Lo, mm -hmm. and at the same time, be, because probably uh, uh, the administration wanted to keep this all these things under wraps, yep. as we know it's top secret, and the current government is saying it's you know all red tape, red red tape matters. Yeah. Yeah. But I think one of the things that we should look at is uh, Najib was probably looking at someone he can trust. You know, someone 2015. Junior? Someone junior that he well, junior is one thing, okay. but um, Amhari has worked with him under the PMO for about eight years. Okay. You got to see that you know in 2015 he just sacked a lot. Of, a lot of people, Najib, right. Dr. Sri Najib, and then um, you know he just sacked his deputy. Yeah. So there has been uh, some trust deficit, lah, definitely. Okay. So you know, as uh, Amhari is one of the youngest, mm. uh, first floor boys, he would probably be someone that you know Najib is probably looking at for trust. Yeah, because yeah. you know it's funny. If in court, he claimed that he did not have much knowledge. Yeah, about yeah, this yeah, thing. yeah. That's one thing to say because Tan Sri Muhammad Shafi Abdullah, Najib's uh, lawyer, yeah. said that. He's not telling the whole truth, so okay. yeah. Right. So he will be in court today, right? Yes, 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 he'll be in court today, so he'll continue his testimony. Mm. Yeah. So, so we know that Jolo is the one that's been behind most of the dealings, right? Hence, we call him the puppet master. But was it surprising, you know, just how much freedom he was given? Um, comparing Amhari and Jolo, perhaps Amhari is one of the, I mean Jolo is one of the bigger, stronger personality, yeah. at least the impression that we will get. Lah. Mm. The people who follow Jolo will know that, you know, um, he was involved with Taib Mahmood in deals, yeah. he's yeah. been making million dollar deals even in his early 30s, mm. even younger than Amhari even. And, uh, you know, he's a water no School of Business graduate yeah. and he's uh, connected to bank bank leaders in Malaysia at least and even uh, from from the news perhaps outside Overseas. and he also claimed to be according to Amhari one of uh, an advisor to uh, one of our our own sultans yeah so um, as as to whether we are surprised or not yeah. you know uh, one point to say is that um, it's perhaps normal for world leaders, even our own leaders, past, present, to have uh, you know uh, advisors outside of the government, you know, okay. private, private, private advisors. So can't say we're surprised. Okay, yeah. it's yeah. been a while since we've gotten one, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So the trial runs till you know for now it runs till November, right? Mm -hmm. And it's only the third week, so we have a long way to go. But what can we expect? Okay, um, after Amhari, there will be some other interesting uh, witnesses. Okay. Perhaps we are, we are speculating maybe there will be um, on MDB ex CEO Shahrul Halmi. Shahrul, right. And um, Datuk Wan Ahmad Shihab. He is mm -hmm. one of Najib's uh, special officer as well, okay. who has been on the board of um, 1MDB's uh, mm -hmm. you know, subsidiaries and all. So. Yeah, that's, that's, that's perhaps what we are looking at. For more on the stories, pick up a copy of The Age Weekly at all good newsstands.